putting victims at the heart of everything we do has been an absolute key priority for me before the campaign, during the campaign and in this role as Police and Crime Commissioner. Victims have told me some incredibly heartbreaking stories and one of the things that I've recognised is that police and all the other organisations, we just have to do better. And that was why I had many conversations with many organisations and have set up Lighthouse, Integrated Victim Care Hub. That gives them some great support, great stability, because we need to help our victims recover. You can stay a victim forever uh, unless you have some real key intervention and it's putting the victim back in control. Far too often in the past, us and other organisations have tried to almost look after the victim to the point where we keep them victimised. They stay the victim. And what we are doing through Lighthouse and all the other agencies is that we are making sure that they know how to cope and recover. Through further consultation with victims, partners and service providers, the focus was then on identifying gaps in current provision and developing a commissioning plan to extend services for victims of crime and antisocial behaviour. In response, and in addition to Lighthouse, additional support services have been commissioned, including an emotional support service, an adult advocacy service, a children and young people's advocacy service, an independent sexual violence advisor service and a one-year pilot modern slavery support service. Let's hear more from the victim service providers. We're here to provide emotional and practical support, advocacy, signposting and information to help people cope with and ultimately recover from the crime. That's why when someone says, I felt so well supported and listened to, we know that it really does make a difference and it is an important service. Victim Support in Avon and Somerset work with up to 20,000 people a year and as an independent service we're committed to helping all victims of crime and antisocial behaviour. We'll support people whenever it happens and whether or not they've chosen to report to the police. A lot of people choose to contact us directly but it's also really helpful being co-located with the Lighthouse teams in terms of ensuring that we do continue to receive all those referrals and are able to help people from the first point of contact. Our advocacy service and our advocates have years of experience working with vulnerable adults and with people with additional needs associated with their culture and identity. And in particular with this project, we're able to bring some real expertise through working in partnership, so not just here at the Care Forum, but also with our colleagues at CAP and SARI. And we have a real wealth of skills and knowledge so that we can communicate with victims of crime and really empower them to be able to find their way through and find the right options for them as they try and navigate their way through the criminal justice system or indeed decide whether or not to report a crime at all. Let me give an example. Back in April we received a referral from Lighthouse from a victim of serious assault with a learning disability and within a day we'd had the referral and were able to assign an advocate to work with them who made contact with their support worker to establish a really positive working relationship. The advocate met with the victim and their support worker to work through what the best options were for them and through working with the support worker, the victim and Lighthouse, putting the victim absolutely at the centre and at the heart of the process, were able to help them through their confusion around the police investigation process and work out what the best options were for them. What was really lovely for us at the end of the process was that both the victim and their support worker thanked us for providing a really personalised and face-to-face -face service. The Young Victim Service is a new service for Avon and Somerset which has been commissioned by the Office of the Police and Crime Commissioner. It works with young people under the age of 18 years or through to 25 years where there's additional needs. It's purely a voluntary service where young people feel that they could benefit. Therefore, we take referrals from the police hubs called the Lighthouse and from other agencies. So to take a typical example, we had a mother phone us about her daughter. The daughter was feeling very distressed because they had been burgled 
and there was that sense of a stranger having been through their house. Her daughter was really anxious, particularly at night when it was dark, so one of our workers met with her to put strategies in place to cope with the distressing impact of that and to find ways of feeling safer in the future. We know that one in four women will experience a sexual assault and yet statistics show that 40% of women are raped and yet will never tell anyone about it. The independent sexual violence advisors provide a critical service which has supported hundreds of victims to cope and recover with the aftermath of their assault. We know that anyone can be a victim of rape or sexual assault and it doesn't matter what culture or community they're from, but it's important to know that it is never their fault. The Years for Service can provide support to men, women and children, whether the assault is recent or historic. We've recently began to work out in police hubs across the Avon and Somerset Force area and we work alongside both the investigation teams and the Lighthouse Service. This therefore means that the ISVAs are on hand to respond to victims at the first point of contact. Our overarching aim is to work towards a world without slavery. It's great that the Police Crime Commissioner realises the importance of this issue and its impact in Avon and Somerset. It's fantastic that it's been put as part of her wider strategic plan and great that she's put funding into the area as well to help us train more frontline practitioners, to identify more victims and to get them the support that they need. Specifically, Sue's funding has allowed us to go across Avon and Somerset um, training people. Then the hope is that those people who have been trained will then be able to identify more victims in our area and then that those victims will be able to get the assistance and support and help that they need. We've also been working with the police in identifying areas where victims of trafficking and slavery may be being harboured and we've been working with them on welfare visits and operations to try and rescue and recover victims. So it's fantastic that the money has been put into this arena, that it raises the awareness of this issue. It's a hidden crime, it's happening in Avon and Somerset, and working with Lighthouse, the police and the PCC, it's a real opportunity to make sure we're all tackling this issue together. I feel that people, when they have been victims of crime, feel very much alone and at a loss. I was approached by a member of the Lighthouse team, and I was very, very grateful to speak to her they actually smooth one's path. They take a negative experience and make it, if not positive, you have a positive way of feeling. They actually make you feel empowered. I've never had occasion to actually go to court to be a witness and whilst not fearful, it was a slightly intimidating thought and the lighthouse staff were there every step of the way. They arranged everything that I could possibly need, but more importantly, they have this amazing way of talking to you where you feel as if you matter. Nothing is too much trouble for them. You can discuss any problem that you feel you have, and you can approach them whenever you wish. The advisor I was dealing with actually stayed in touch and came back on several occasions to check that you know I was fine, that I was feeling confident and did I have any worries or concerns and I just think the whole thing was absolutely beautifully managed. Professional yes but friendly and caring. They don't just give a hundred percent, they go that extra mile it's clear we have come a long way. It is, we are in no way can we ever be complacent, but we are making a really fundamental difference to those victims who are vulnerable, who are persistently targeted and intimidated. And we are going to make a difference. We will continue to make a difference. And I'm very proud of what has been achieved. And together, we will continue to listen to our victims to be influenced by what they want and being able to deliver what they want in order to cope and recover.